Hello, my name is Cove from ChatGPT, and this is a new tutorial from Open Source Photography. Today, we'll be discussing sharpening and denoising in RAW therapy. There are many tutorials out there, but my approach might be a bit different. Uh, the order I follow might also be different from what you're used to. Some people apply denoising first and then sharpen. Others do the opposite, and that's my method too. My reasoning is that sharpening can introduce more noise and over sharpening can result in a loss of detail. On the other hand, denoising can reduce detail and sharpness if overdone. So my method is to sharpen optimally first and then apply just enough denoising to minimize noise without losing too much sharpness and detail. Some photographers prefer the opposite approach and that's perfectly fine. Do what works best for you. All right, let's get into the method. Your camera has tools to determine if something is sharp. Autofocus uses methods like contrast detection and phase detection, while manual photography can use focus peaking. These are all ways to detect sharpness. Raw therapy also has two tools, focus mask and contrast detection. I don't use contrast detection, but focus mask works similarly to focus peaking, highlighting the edges that are in focus. It works best when there's a high contrast between the subject and the background and when the depth of field is shallow. Um, it also works better at higher magnifications. I use the focus mask in raw therapy not just to sort photos and see which are sharp, but as a tool to maximize sharpening. This method works best on photos with a shallow depth of field and high contrast. When this is the case, the subject will be highlighted in green when you turn on the focus mask. If there's low contrast and depth of field, the whole photo turns green, which isn't helpful. All right. Let's sharpen a few images. Choose an appropriate picture, use the Adobe profiles or a LUT, and adjust the exposure until you're satisfied with the result. Turn on the focus mask and zoom in to 100%. Go to the Detail tab and activate Sharpening. In Sharpening, we have two options. Let's start with the Unsharp mask. Leave the contrast threshold at the default value of 20. This can be useful if there are too many green particles around the subject. You can counter this by increasing the contrast threshold. The same goes for the blur radius. Leave it at the default value of 0.20. Also, keep the radius and edge tolerance at their default settings. Activate Sharpen Only Edges. Above that, set the amount between 200 and 350, depending on how strong you want the sharpening to be. This works in combination with the radius, which I set between 0.5 and 1.5. Going higher impacts detail at noise and artifacts significantly. You can preview the results by toggling the focus mask on and off. To get the best result, I usually start with an amount of 250. By adjusting the radius between 0.5 and 1.5, I find the point where the most edges light up. Then I fine tune the amount to find the perfect balance between these two settings. Happy sharpening. Cove from ChatGPT for open source photography.